Well, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at finding area of polar curves, and in this first example we're going to find area inside of one but outside of the other one, and these are going to be intersecting curves. And then we'll find an area of common interior, and we'll, we'll just work through these and see what we got to look out for. First of all, let's graph these things. I want to find the area inside the graph of r equals 3 sine theta. Now you should know that this is a circle with a diameter of 3 and it's vertical. If you don't know that, you can plug in you know, tables of values. If, if theta is 0, sine of 0 is 0, times 3 is 0, so we've got a little dot right here. And then if theta is, say, pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so pi over 2 is straight up, and 1 times 3 is 3, so straight up we come up here. And if you plug in other values, you get values that create this little circle. And I'm going to do my best here to draw this circle, and it's not going to be beautiful. Keep it together, keep it together. Oh, I didn't keep it together at the end. But anyway, so there's 3 sine theta. Now 2 minus sine theta, this is a lemosome. And it does not have an inner loop because the A is actually larger in magnitude than the B. You can still plug in values if you'd like. If you plug in 0 for theta, sine of 0 is 0. And then 2 minus 0 is 2. So this graph is actually out here when theta is 0. Now when theta is pi over 2, the sine of pi over 2 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's here at pi over 2. And then you get that it's back here at negative 2. And then it goes all the way down here at 270. The sine of 270 is negative 1. I should say 3 pi over 2, but my brain works in degrees. Uh, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. With that negative makes a positive 1, and that other 2 makes a 3. And so we get this dimpled lemason, or convex lemason. I think we've got that magical point if A is exactly twice as big as B, but for now we just know that it is not a cardioid. And I am not keeping it to get together very well here, but it looks something like this. Wow, that's sad, but this is the best I can do for now. Now what we want to do is we want to find the area that's inside this circle, but it cannot be inside our lemosome, so it's got to be outside. I've got to find all of this area in here. I do not want to include this area in here, so I'm Xing that area out. So what I want to, I've made sort of a cool little picture there. What you're going to want to do here, if you have intersecting polar curves, is you definitely want to find their points of intersection. Their points of intersection are when they are equal to each other. So we are really interested in this point right here as an angle, and this point right here as an angle. So I want to know when does 3 sine theta equal 2 minus sine theta? Well, that would happen if 4 sine theta, add sine theta to both sides, is equal to 2. Divide by 4, and we get that sine theta equals 1 half. And so my theta values are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And I guess I can believe that. I didn't do too bad of a job, but I can believe that that angle right there is about 30 degrees, and that this one over here is about 150 degrees. So let's go through this process. I think that I'm going to find, I'm going to use some symmetry, so I'm just going to find this area in here, all of this area in this region, and double it. That's my plan. I'm going to find all of this area, I'll call this my region, and I'm going to double that. So here's my thought process. I'm going to start finding the area right here when this radial line pi over 6 intersects that Point, that's when I'm going to start sweeping out my area. I don't want any area over here from 0 to pi over 6 because that's area that's inside the lemosome. I want to start getting area right there. So I want to get, I want to collect all of this area and then miraculously, magically, I want to subtract off the rest of this stuff in here. So this is my thought process. My area is going to be 2 times one half integral from pi over six up to pi over two. Keep in mind I'm taking advantage of symmetry here. I better put parentheses here. Pi over six to pi over two of our circle squared. So that would be nine sine squared theta d theta. And then I want to subtract off this area inside the lemosome. So I'm going to subtract off one half the integral from pi over 6 
to pi over 2 of our limousome, which is 2 minus sine of theta squared d theta. So it's a subtraction problem, and I had to find a point of intersection to figure out when I was going to start collecting that area. So that would be my answer, whatever that works out to be. I'm supposed to just sketch and set up the integral expression and not evaluate it. All right, so let's take a look at a common interior question, and let's also make fun of Mr. G's graphing some more. I've got a circle. 3 cosine theta is a circle. It has a diameter of 3, and it's out to the right. And it's going to look something like this. Very hard to do on an air slate. There, there's 3 cosine theta, and 1 plus cosine theta, that is a cardioid, because A and B, there is a 1 in front of that cosine, are equal to each other, and so we create a cardioid. If, if theta is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so at 0, my cardioid is out here at 2. When theta is pi over 2, or up here, straight north, I guess, on the positive y-axis, Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, plus 1 is 1, so it's right here. It goes past it, it comes back to the pole and intersects out here at pi, back down here at 1, and it looks something like this. I think I've gone too far, but it's a little cardioid there. And so what I want to do is I want to find the common interior, and I'm going to again take advantage of symmetry. I want to find this area that's inside both of them. Now this one we're going to also have to find points of intersection. The reason that is is because I want to find this area that the cardioid is sweeping out until we get to this point of intersection. But once we get to that point of intersection, I no longer want to use the cardioid. I now want to use the circles equation to get the rest of the, of the area. So let me show you how this will look. First of all, we need to find out when does 3 cosine theta equal 1 plus cosine theta. Points of intersection are important. I'll subtract cosine theta from both sides, and I'll get that 2 cosine theta is equal to 1. So I want to find out when does cosine theta equal 1 half. Well, that happens when theta equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. I'm going to take advantage of the symmetry, so I, I really am only interested in this part up here on the upper hemisphere. And I'll just double that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect the area using the cardioid graph until I get to that point of intersection. And that cardioid graph will no longer be where my radial line strikes or ends up. I will then need to use my circle from pi over 3 out to where we end, which is going to be at pi over 2. So I'm going to have my area, which is going to equal, I'm, I'm doubling this because I'm going to use symmetry, 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 3 of 1 plus cosine theta squared d theta. Now that was going to give me the area until I got to that point of intersection. And then I'm going to add to this 1 half the integral from pi over 3 to pi over 2 of my circle squared, which would be 9 cosine squared theta d theta. And doubling that will take care of adding up this area that's down here. So finding points of intersection are very important whenever we have common interiors or maybe inside of one polar graph and outside of the other. So there's a couple more examples and I will see you guys tomorrow.